Good morning and welcome back to Delhi. We starved ourselves this morning because today we're gonna go on an Indian food tour. We are so excited. We've got like four hours of just eating Indian food all through Delhi. So usually we would do a food tour and we would actually do them like self-led because we like to just like explore the food on our own. But there's so much to learn about Indian food and we just decided that we need to like get an expert involved who can teach us. So we're partnering up with a chef's tour today to check out all the delicious treats that Old Delhi has to offer. Gajendra, who is going to be our tour today from a chef's tour. We're going to eat all day, yeah? Yes, we are going to visit so many different food joints where we are going to try the jalebis, dahi balla, parathas, lassi. And uh, we are doing this uh, in the Old Delhi, where uh, the street name is the Chandni Chowk. So let's begin the trip. Awesome. Cool. So our first item is jalebi, which I understand is like a sweet donut-ish thing. And this, this restaurant's been operating for like almost 150 years. These look and smell so good. From our understanding, they're kind of like donuts. They look like they're made exactly like donuts. It's hot here too. I cannot imagine working here. Holy smokes. So they're like, they're cooked in the grease and the oil. And then they're moved into, this is like a sugar syrup, the second one. And it sits there for five minutes. It soaks up all the sweetness. Then we get to eat it. Apparently this store is the only place where you can get them this size. Everybody else is so small. <laughs> Amazing. It's just like, almost like maple syrup. It's just the sugar syrup. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, sugar syrup. And uh, they add some honey into it. You only need one because that cannot be good for you. <laughs> Okay, so a bunch of our friends who either are from India or have been to India told us we have to try this. And it's called Pani Puri. Yeah? Pani Puri. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a big bite. It's like filled. Look at that. Mm. It's filled in there to the brim. Whoa. I swear, it like exploded in my mouth. I felt like all the flavor came at once. The casing, that like breading, it's stiff, it's hard. So I felt like it'd be like so soft and mushy because of the water, but it's not actually mushy at all. It's like a solid case and once you bite into it, all like the liquid comes out. Ah, okay, so this one has yogurt in it. Yeah, and sweet. And sweet. Mmm, mmm. I like this one better. Because it's sweet. <clears throat> oh, it's quite sweet. There's yogurt in it. It tastes maybe like a fruit is in there. Oh, there's apple. Mm. This is the one you always have. <laughs> he says he doesn't usually eat on the food tours, but this one. <laughs> that one is a whole experience. I think two's enough for me, though. Two enough for you? Yeah. Two's enough for me. For a snack. For a snack. I could probably do three more. <laughs> Our next dish is barantas, and they have this bread that they flatten and they throw in a mixture of spices and other things, like almost like a filling inside the barantas, and then he squishes it all down into like a flat pancake. So it's not like a clump of like spices and filling, it's like all mixed in the dough. And afterwards, they deep fry it in there. Ah. Here is, we have some sauces and the curries. First one is the tamarind and banana sauce. The second one is the potatoes and the green peas. Third one is the mint and coriander sauce. That's the pumpkin and this is a dry potato. After that we have the pickles, which is carrot, radish, chili and mango. So this paranta has, we call it cottage cheese, it's got paneer in it. <laughs> so we also got lassi, which is super commonly drank here, and it's like a yogurt-based drink, it's supposed to be a little bit sweet, and it's just like served alongside meals, very commonly. But what's not common about this one is that it's actually served in a clay pot, and this is how they used to be made, but now like more common. 
commonly you see them in like like plastic or paper cups, but the clay pot really adds a lot of flavor. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's sweet. It's very cold. It's kind of like milk, but it's way thicker and really sweet. That is amazing. It's like dessert. So I've been doing a ton of walking right now, and it just still blows my mind like how intricate and wide Chani Chowk is. There's so much to see, so many different shops and so many different alleyways, and tons of people shopping. Like Even like the smallest little store is packed with people. Okay, so now we're getting lemon soda, he calls it, and he said one is plain and one comes with masala, so like spices. I think it's just a good drink, like a lemon drink. Look at this. They're, like, how do you open that? <laughs> this is magic, there's no lid. Oh! <laughs> Thanks! Well, that was kind of cool. Oh, wow, look, the bubble or the bead just like stays in the little neck. Yeah, so the marble ball is stuck here because the bottle you see is slim yeah, here. Yeah, that is super cool. So the same bottle, they use it again and again and again. Ooh, that is fresh. So is it really just like water, lemon flavor, and yes. then it's just, it's carbonated? Yes. Perfect. I guess this is like very similar, but like a masala version, so there's some spices inside. I don't get the cool reusable bottle, I just get normal glass, but... Whoa! That one's interesting. I think, I think I'd go for the other one. I don't even know what the other one tastes like, but I think I'd go for the other one. Now I'm a little nervous, because you really did not sell this. Mm. Oh, it's very salty. So we're walking and getting closer and closer to the spice market. And how you can tell that you're near the spice market is number one, you can smell it in the air. It is automatically like way more fragrant around this area. And the second thing is you're gonna see a ton of these like huge sacks that people have. They're either carrying on their backs or they're carrying like on their little trucks, like small like uh, wagons. These are all filled with different spices, different teas, uh, dried fruits and things like that. They're just everywhere around this area. Wow, so welcome to Asia's biggest spice. <laughs> So simply they have the milk, they added the water, sugar and the tea okay. into that and then they use the fresh ginger and the cardamoms. Yum. That is called the masala tea. So it's boiled, so no worries about the safety, yeah. hygiene. Yeah. Once it's boiled, it's safe to drink. Yeah. I love where we got our, our tea from because this is like this kid like underneath this, this I don't know, floor. It's like we've somehow made two shops out of one little shop stuff. I just think it's really neat. <laughs> Oh my god, the spices are making her, their way down our throats. It's like infused in the air and every breath that you take is like making you want to sneeze or cough or something. It's potent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh man. So, Gajendra was just telling us a little bit more about the spice market. This is actually all one building. The bottom floor is obviously all of your shops, and then the top two floors are a mixture of both like storage for all of your stock, as well as a lot of the staff will actually just live on these floors. So not the owners of the shops, um, but their staff will often come from outside of Delhi, and they'll come and work here, so they actually live at the top couple of floors as well while they're working here. Also, this masala tea is amazing. It's so good. So it's like chai tea, mixed with like a bunch of spices and then obviously boiled up with milk and sugar. Also, <laughs> there's a lot of spices in the air. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. So this is the rabli Rab with the pistachios and almond on top. Look how beautiful this is. It's like two almonds and some pistachios. Let's try. Oh my God. Oh, I think this. This might be my favorite thing we've had today. Mm. Dessert? It's definitely yes. like a dessert. It kind of reminds me of like creme brulee. Wow. This is very good. Ice pudding. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's like it's like condensed milk. 
Did you say that earlier? Twice. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> So we boil condensed milk, okay? Yummy stuff comes up to the top, gets hard, gets thick. That's the, that part is in here. But then also all the stuff that gets like stuck to the bottom, scrape that off. Kind of like it's like kind of crunchy, right? Mix that all into it, and it gives you this delicious texture. Yum. This dish is normally kept cold, and they have the, this pot here. It's actually two pots. Underneath is like a bath of ice, and then like the pot that holds all the rubbery sits on top. And since it's really sweet, and to keep the flies out, they usually have incense on top. I think this is possibly my favorite thing we've eaten today. This is excellent. Yeah. Okay, wait, does it all go in my mouth? Yeah. All in one go? Yeah. Do I chew it and, and eat it? Like yeah. swallow it? Yeah. Okay. First take it, I will let you know. And just start chewing it. Don't swell in. Now. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> it's like kind of minty. Explain what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is data? That is uh, the beetle leaf. On the beetle leaf, they use a lot of different kind of the spices, fennel seeds, saffron sauce, a lot of beetles. They have the coconut powder onto it. Yeah. Gulkan, which is made up of the rose petals and the honey. Whoa! <laughs> wow! This is such an experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like my mouth and my sinuses mm. are getting like infused with spices oh. or something. It's intense. There's mm -hmm. so much stuff in there. And he cut ours in half. I don't know if you like usually eat one of those by yourself, but like I feel like there's no way I could get that in my mouth. This is a lot. I like it. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. it. Glad I tried it. Probably not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have picked this up on my own. So, this is the thing which is called dahi bhalla. Dahi, as you can see, this is the yogurt, the white one. This one is the tamarind sauce. Oh. With some spice. And then, there is a, some black thing you can see. Mm -hmm. This is also a mix of a spices. Where they use many different spices like black pepper, cinnamon, cloves, green cardamom. This is the dough. Wow. Which is made up of the lentils. So to eat this, you have to mix it properly. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Ooh, mmm, tangy. Yeah, a little bit of heat, just ever so gently, but it's cold. Yeah. Sour and sweet. Oh, that's good. The sweetness is really nice. It's a nice temperature. It's a little bit cold. Because the yogurt is cold. They yes, the yogurt, high. yeah. Yes. And then the spice is just like elevated to India level, right? <laughs> yeah. This is something that we needed to really learn about. That was like a basic thing about Indian food that I think we've finally figured out. There's a difference between ram, ram roti, and naan. <laughs> naan is typically cooked in the oven and roti is typically cooked like on a pan on top of the stove. The other big difference is that roti is made out of wheat flour and naan is made out of very, very, very fine wheat flour, which is called meda. We have a roti here and it was made in the tandoor. I'm curious how to properly eat it. Do you just like tear a piece of, of roti? Like this. Okay. Then you hold it. Okay. Just like that. Oh, you even cut it with your No. Oh. That was eloquent. Okay, let's try. This is roti with butter paneer masala. Oh gosh, this, I'm gonna have to do this in two bites. <laughs> I feel like if I leave India with like one flavor in my mouth, it's like this flavor that I wanna remember forever. I love this like, mas this butter masala flavor. My favorite thing here. We are absolutely stuffed. In case you guys are wondering, the tour that we went on was with a chef's tour. Our guide, Gajendra, was so amazing. He was top he, notch. He knew so much about the food, and that's like one of the reasons why we took the tour is that it's one thing to Google online and like look for the food yourself and yeah. taste it. It's another to have a local explain to you what you're tasting, yeah, the history of it, yeah. and just like it just amplifies the entire experience. Just really teach you about the food instead of just tasting it. So we had just an absolutely incredible time. I'm so so glad we went on a food tour. We Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you stay tuned for our next one. We're gonna be exploring more of Delhi and showing you all the things that India has to offer. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one.